Hello, this is Dr. Alemi with part 4 of measuring severity of illness from claims data. In this part, we will show you how to evaluate performance of the index that you have developed. The first task is to read from the file alternative severity scores that you can compare to the one that you have developed. Start by going to the external data. You want to read the text file. And we want to link to the data source by creating a link table. You want to browse to the place where you have kept the table. There it is. And we want the kids 2006 severity. So that text file contains the, the alternative severity scores. It's a delimited data. Moving to next. First row contains the field names. Moving to next. The rest are OK. And let's abbreviate it to alt severity so that it is not a very long name. It finished linking the table. OK. The next step is to prepare the analysis file. We create the query. We have to select for analysis uh, alt severity, which we have the alternative severity indexes, as well as the overall severity as we calculated it. And we have to make sure that we use the same hospital ID and cell record number. So length of stay is one of our variables. The other variable we want is, uh, let's see here, APS DRG severity as well as the APS DRG length of stay as well as the overall severity and we are now ready to do our analysis. Next step is to do, uh, to do regression analysis and we you do that analysis inside Excel so we close this the table we open excel and now we want to import the uh, file that uh, we called analysis file go to data and import from access and we need to identify where the data file is here we have it. The access file is there. It asks which file you want, and we want the analysis file. And we want it as a table. Importing the data will take about two to three minutes, especially if you have larger files, you may expect four or five minutes. Now we are ready to do the regression analysis. The Regression analysis is under data, under data analysis. You have to have added this as a uh, added add-in. If you haven't done so, you won't see data analysis. But if you have added it in, you should be able to see it. Regression is selected. OK. Now we have to select what variables, what's our Y range, what what's our y variable and that is length of stay as observed it's the length of stay I'm pressing enter and then I for my x range I'm going to start with the analysis of the APR DRG severity which is in the B column let's get 4 AE4 and uh, see 
ba1 okay so we have labels and uh, let's put this new worksheet into regression uh, in a, into a new ta uh, new uh, page called uh, regression so there we have the data uh, so multiple r is 0.32 adjusted r square is 0 0.10 so that's uh, not very good and that is for APS DRG so now uh, let's try to do the same thing for the other factors the other me methods of measuring severity we want to do a regression uh, these are the y range doesn't change the x range is of is c uh, no longer b uh, so it goes from c1 to c 59484 now the output range we want it to be in the table in the uh, page that's called regression and we want it at h1 52% of the variation in uh, uh, in this uh, length of stay was explained so we go back to data and we do a data analysis and this time we do a regression and uh, our overall severity index is in column D so we go here and change this to column D D1 through the D59484 these are the 59,000 validation cases labels are okay now they uh, we want to uh, change the play output range and we want to put it uh, perhaps uh, at uh, 01 um, that's good so the adjusted R squared using our own severity index uh, comes out to 54 uh, so it is uh, slightly more accurate uh, now we are ready to actually do the test that the accuracy of the regression is significantly more we do a data analysis again we select regression and this time we want to do regression starting from B1 through all the way to D so all of the factors are in this is the result you obtain you notice that the adjusted R squared is 0.617 and that's uh, increased that shows that the Alemi overall index has improved the accuracy even beyond what could be predicted from APR DRG or APS DRG notice also that the coefficient for the overall severity index is statistically significant the T is 111 and the p-value is 0 that means that there is a great uh, uh, degree of significance and that the overall severity index that we have calculated adds new information to the other severity indices.